Hey, what up guys? How's it going? Yikes here and we are back in our Arena of Battle video and today we're going to be going over the patch notes, the English patch notes. So if you guys didn't know, I already made a video about this going into details on the Taiwanese version, uh, which there was, uh, it came out for them about two weeks ago. And this is actually coming out for us on July 16th. So tomorrow the update is going to officially come out and they actually made the patch notes today. So we're going to be going over them. And as you guys can see, the first thing they're actually mentioning is the Battlefield 3.0 and how everything is going to improve the graphics and they're going to have like dynamic clouds, like moving lights and stuff. So if you guys have these, if you guys want to have those features in your game, you have to turn on the HD version. And if your phone is pretty low end, you're not going to have this feature enabled and you're not going to be able to turn it on because your phone is going to overheat and you're not going to be able to basically play because the graphic issues are going to be just too much for your phone to handle and then they're talking about how they have like a new brand logo and then there's going to be a better menu and like everything is going to look nicer so those are some of the side stuff and then we're going to go into the main stuff which is the enchantment system which is basically the runes that we talked about i already made a video covering all these runes and what they do like the tier 3 ones but I'm gonna go over them more again when the update comes out because there's a lot of more details about this and again the yellow the Veda one is gonna be actually used for mages and marksmen mostly the Afata is gonna be used uh, for tanks and supports the blue one is basically for all the roles is gonna be able to revive you resurrect you and give you guys a lot of functions to basically survive spawn faster all that good stuff and the red one is going to be for assassins and warriors for melee heroes so uh that's going to be uh pretty good in jungle for like coolin crixi i mean Cricknack and butterfly and enzo so all those heroes are going to be pretty decent with this uh red rune system so then they go deeper into them and talk about them so basically you're going to have like a uh, main rune so you're gonna have a primary rune page which is this red one right here as you guys can see and then you're gonna have two secondary ones which is these two uh, yellow lines so if you guys have these two uh, you can change them up so you can change them to any you want and you could also change the main one to any that you guys want you also have three pages that you can make up for any character you have so if you guys take a look here you can change up uh, depending on whatever you guys want so if you choose the main rune you're going to be able to choose each tier what ability you want to use on them and also right here you uh, for your sub runes you could change them to any of them that you want but you can choose anything from the main rune because you already have that buff anyway so you can't choose anything from the red side anymore if you're using the red gems and that's basically about it it's going to basically launch and there's more details that i'm going to give you guys about this later on when the update comes out which is going to be more accurate and then uh, we're going to be going over the arcana update so if you guys didn't know the arcana system is going to be a little bit different now it's going to be still the same arcana you're going to be able to still use it and everything but it's just going to be a little bit different so if you guys take a look um the names are going to be the same so the arcanas used to have different names before now that all so like the level one arcana is going to have the same name as the level three one and then this whole system is going to unlock after level 7 you don't need to reach level 30 to be able to have all your arcana slots open anymore which is pretty nice but this is gonna basically make a lot of people uh, be able to gain higher rank when they're on their smurf account if they spend gold or like the arcana system currency that's gonna be coming out they're gonna be able to get the full arcana page very faster and as you guys can see you there's gonna be the new arcana system you could uh, use your a new arcana currency to upgrade at the levels of your arcana or spend gold to upgrade them and then there's going to be more arcana pages and stuff where you could copy from other people which is pretty nice so you can go and like if you have like a favorite youtuber or pro player on your server and you want to find out what arcana they're using and stuff you can just go to them look at the arcana they're using and even take it for yourself and use the same arcana as they're using and you're going to be able to use this before the matches start and you could also use this uh, before in the main menu which is pretty nice and then the rank system uh, is gonna be tweaked as well and the AFKs the MVPs and stuff uh, people are gonna take a lot of more hit if you go AFK and um, basically if you get reported you're gonna probably lose a lot of more credibility points and stuff so that's a pretty good tweak that's gonna be coming out for all the people that kind of troll and then in season 11 they're gonna be actually uh, releasing a new tier called veteran so this veteran rank is going to come uh, between master and it's going to 
come basically dime between master and diamond so if you guys get to conquer you're still gonna be conquer and veteran is just gonna come between so people are not gonna drop from the conquer and master to diamond anymore i mean to plat anymore so before we used to uh go from conquer like 500 stars to conquer to plat like plat one and then after four games we would be stuck at diamond because nobody's diamond and we can't find games anymore but now all these conquer and master plays are gonna go down to veteran and veteran is gonna have like draft queue so we could actually find rank games so this is gonna be pretty interesting this time around and it's gonna be a lot easier for people to find games now with all these tweaks and there's gonna be a lot of layouts like a map layout uh, changes so if you guys didn't know the blue side of the map is gonna have a lot of changes the camps are gonna move around and the, the camps are gonna go around here the camps from here is gonna be removed and they're talking about this and if you guys take a look the red buff actually gonna get some changes too the bushes are gonna change a little bit so this is gonna be easier for like characters like Lindis who use the bush on the red side but on the blue side she's gonna be a lot more vulnerable and then they're talking about the abyssal dragon xp is gonna be for 250 any time of the match if you kill them so the dragon is gonna go the xp is gonna go down and then um, before you used to have 90 seconds to summon the drake so if you kill the uh drake and basically you wanted to summon it you had 90 seconds now it's going to be going down to 60 seconds so you have to keep and then it. uh basically if you guys didn't know if there was minions under your tower you would get less 10 percent gold now that's going to be removed and you're still going to get the same gold if you clear the minion wave uh when you were outside the tower so this is going to be removed so it's going to help a lot of marksmen out so i know a lot of people had to go like sit under tower to clear and they will lose the gold if they didn't last it so this is going to be removed and then the lane growth is going to actually go down a little bit so it's going to go from four percent to 3.5 and there's a lot of changes guys so you have to go check this out yourself and you have to check them in game honestly and the, the kill gold is going to be different so at level four to seven is going to it was 200 gold is going to be going down to 175 the tower magic and physical defense is going to go from 200 to 250 and then the obisol damage uh from 60 percent is going to go down to 50 percent they used to uh, do a lot of damage and then the drake boost to lanes so basically if you guys didn't know when you drop the drake you get like the minions get big and stuff so the damage is going to go from 10 percent to 50 to 15 percent and the minions are gonna get more buffed even more bigger now from 15 percent to 20 percent so this is pretty actually decent with the nerf that was actually coming to the drake itself so this is gonna be pretty interesting and the buff and the monsters in the jungle they're gonna have higher health now so uh all these changes to jungle is gonna be pretty interesting and i think a lot of these changes are coming because of the new rune system uh, there's a lot of changes coming with that a lot of bonus damage and stuff that you're going to be doing so that's pretty interesting uh, as well so also there's going to be some uh hp growth in the lanes like the minions and stuff which is pretty interesting so these are some technical stuff that i'm not going to really go over on but uh, if you guys want to i'm going to have the patch notes in the description so you can go check it out yourself and then we're going to go over to the hero balances so Sephira, uh her first skill um is gonna basically get reduced so if she's under level 4 is gonna be 30% instead of 50% and if he's higher than level 4 uh, she's gonna do 50% so early game her first skill uh, is gonna slow people less than before and the mana cost is gonna basically go up so you can just keep spamming your first skill heal everything back and the cooldown is gonna actually go uh, six uh, from five seconds to six seconds in the early game so that's gonna be pretty interesting and then we're gonna have Ignis here. His first skill is gonna actually uh, get a little bit of a buff in the damage. He's gonna get 25 more damage, so that's pretty big. And then his second skill, the cooldown is gonna go down as well. So it seems like Ignis is gonna be coming back into the early game. His early game states are gonna do more damage and it's gonna have more stuns. So Dai Chen is gonna completely get changed. Like if you guys didn't know, uh, I talked about this before. She's gonna get a shield now and basically if you are going outside a fight so if you just fight someone and you just go around for seven seconds uh you're gonna get a shield and that basically is gonna make you immune to any kind of damage and or any kind of stuns so if people come to you 
the first time they hit you and stun you, you're not going to take the damage or the stuns for a while and you're going to be able to escape, which is going to be, pre be pretty strong for it. It's going to kind of make her like the S tier of the mid lane. And then there's going to be uh, a lot of changes to her skills as well. So if you guys didn't know, you're not going to get stunned by her first skill anymore. And it's just going to basically freeze you, kind of just freeze you around and it's going to be for less time. Uh, so instead of 0.5, it's going to go to 0.35 and her second skill, uh, the frozen time is going to go from 0 0.6 to 0 0.4. And if you guys keep landing it on someone for the second time, uh, it's going to frozen them for a higher amount of time and it's going to do more damage. Darcy is going to get uh, a lot of changes as well. Uh, his first skill uh, used to damage reduce him like more than like for about like 50 60 percent before now it's going to be fixed at 30 percent so even if you upgrade your first skill it's going to stuck at 30 percent it seems like that the magic damage is going to get increased for his first skill going from 300 to 400 and then the attack damage range boost is going to go down so you're not going to be able to laser people across the map anymore and then the slow effect is going to go from 60 uh for one second to 40 percent for one second and then the dimensional cube uh, is gonna actually get a buff and as you guys can see it's gonna go from 2.5 to 2.8 and the damage is gonna go down a little bit just because the range is gonna be a lot higher now so that's pretty decent so it kind of feels like a buff and a nerf at the same time and then his third skill he's gonna get a lot of bonus from this if you hit someone you're gonna do 200 more damage and if you teleport to someone is you're gonna do like 100 more damage which is pretty interesting and the cooldown is going to be reduced so uh this is going to be pretty huge for him he's going to be able to dive people more easily now and a lot of these changes just seems like that is coming because of the rune system a lot of these heroes didn't need any kind of nerfs but with these new rune system giving people new abilities new like talents and stuff uh a lot of them are getting nerfed so Tulin, his Thunderclap, which is his passive, uh, is going to do only 75% damage to non-heroes. So the minion wave, the jungle camps, is going to take 75% damage. So you cannot use Tulin in jungle anymore. It's going to be really hard for you to clear in the early game because you do not do the 100% damage anymore. And as you guys can see, his second skill is going to have like a uh, higher charging time until the late game, which is going to be less. So... Uh, he's not going to be able to teleport around with his, his, his second skill as much as before. And then Maganga, he's, uh, he's passive. Uh, the Voodoo is going to change the range from 6.6 .6 to 6.8. His first skill, the range is going to change from 7 to 7.5, which is pretty interesting as well. And then we're going to have L'Oreal here and her movement speed is going to be like the only one that's going to go up by 10 points. So that's pretty interesting. Caffeine. Uh, lifesteal is gonna be basically go down to thirds uh, from the other marksmen so her lifesteal is gonna be less a lot of people just build lifesteal on her and she's able to push out a lot of auto attacks which uh, gives her like a lot of health back so her lifesteal is gonna be going down Yorn's passive uh, fix the bug and that's a 10v10 bug I guess and then his second skill the heavenly barrage the aoe is gonna go down so if you guys didn't know there was like a bug with his uh, second skill where he put out his uh, whole like circle thing out the holy circle uh, it would just attack people even though people were like weren't in the circle so that's kind of fixed and then T T talonas is gonna actually get her first skill buffed so she's gonna be able to do more damage uh in the early game it seems like and then uh, her slow for the first skill is going to go down a little bit. So that's a pretty good change uh, because she, she was able to slow people with her first skill uh, really for a long time. And then uh, use her second skill which slows people even more. So uh, this is a pretty good change for that. And now about the Violet. Violet it seems like she's going to be getting a buff. Her first skill is going to go from 5 seconds cooldown to 4.5. So that's going to be pretty interesting. A lot of people that I heard are saying that the Violet is going to be uh, pretty interesting because she's going to be getting a new cool skin, uh, cool skin and the runes are going to be pretty well on her. So we're going to have to see how she's going to work out. I feel like she's going to be pretty strong, just like Linda's, who's going to really uh, take the advantage of the new rune system. And then Phoenix seems like he's going to be getting a new passive where his passive uh, is going to be able to do critical damage. And basically, uh, if he goes on someone, he's going to do additional damage. And he's going to do 75 extra damage to like uh, buildings and like 
targets and everyone so uh and minions as well so that's gonna be pretty interesting and there was apparently a bug with his first skill where he where he couldn't scale so they're gonna fix that as well and then we have hayate his first skill uh is gonna be basically doing a little bit uh, less damage in the early game because of the ad debuff so it seems like a nerf for him and then the cooldown for his second skill is gonna be higher so you're not gonna be able to teleport around as fast as possible before Valhan is gonna get, be getting a pretty big nerf uh, just because of the fact that the rune system is gonna benefit him a lot so uh, his attack his base attack is gonna go down by five points and uh, his uh, shurikens the red one the blue one and the yellow one they're gonna lose a lot of damage by five points and then they're not gonna scale as much as anymore so that's pretty interesting seems like that Kali her basic attack damage uh, is gonna go from 167 to 162 and her second skill uh is gonna basically give her like a cooldown uh, between her uh using the her second skill so that's pretty interesting uh before you used to like a uh, late game you just spam your second skill but now uh you're gonna have like a little bit of a cool time for uh you're gonna have to wait to use this uh the skill again and then it seems like slims is gonna be getting a possible buff uh, his cooldown for his first skill is gonna go from 10 to 8 and then his second uh, his his third skill is gonna basically give him movement uh, speed increase for uh, instead of 20% to 30% that's pretty nice and then Tara the Warhammer her passive loses 5 to 10% of core and HP when using a normal attack or kill ultimate recover 6% of HP a uh, loss in 3 seconds so uh, kind of feels like a buff she's gonna be kind of like it's not even a buff it's kind of like a balance kind of like a bug fix so she's going to be able to get a lot of hp back when she uses her skill or ultimate and then we talked about aaron before her passive the damage is going to uh kind of get removed uh from the early game so before it was fixed at 60 and it would scale based on how much hp and uh, ap power you had now it's going to be 25 to 95 so the more late game you go the more damage you're going to do so that's pretty interesting also the healing is going to go down for this it was at 60 in the early game it's going to be 20 in the early game so you cannot really invade and annoy people anymore and then late game is going to be at 90 so kind of going to make her seems like a nerfed hero and then her first skill he used to do 250 to 500 damage now early game is going to do 200 damage and the cooldown is just going to be a little bit reduced if you keep upgrading and then Malak, his second skill, the cooldown is going to be going down from 12 seconds uh, to 10 seconds. And it's going to be uh, pretty much lower. So he's going to be able to use his second skill much faster from now. And then his uh, skill 3, which is his shock when he jumps in. Um, when an enemy hero is knocked away, refresh the cleave. So if you jump on someone, if you use... If you already use your first skill, you jump on someone, you're going to be able to use your cleave again instantly. So that's a pretty neat buff for him. And then the cooldown is going to be going down from 60 to 50 in the early game. The mid game is going to be from 50 to 45 and the late game is going to be 40 seconds uh, and it can't go any kind of lower. So, And then we're going to be going over uh, Florentino, his third skill. The damage reduction is going to go down from 50 to 30. That's pretty neat for him because the rune system is going to kind of make him broken. So that's a pretty good uh, nerf for him. And then we're going to have Lubu. Uh, the distance for his jumps are going to be actually increased. So the first two jumps that were reduced to uh, 0 0.005. So now it's going to be 0.25. So that's going to be pretty nice. And then we're going to have IV spins here. She's going to do... A little bit more damage. Uh, it seems like she's gonna do 50 more damage, and the cooldown is gonna go from eight seconds to seven seconds. And if you guys don't know what her first skill is, is the spin one where you could throw it and it resets when you guys basically hit stuff. So if you hit something, you're gonna keep getting it back, and it's gonna be a pretty good damage for her. And then her, seems like her second skill, the cooldowns are gonna go down. And then we have Virus here, and her first skill is gonna basically get a little bit of a buff she's gonna get extra damage and her third skill seems like it's gonna be getting a little bit of a nerf instead of being able to be enraged for a little while she's gonna have lower cooldowns now unless you hit like extra people with her ultimate so that's pretty neat uh, wukong is gonna get his crit reduced from 15 percent to 12 percent 
and then here is the item tweak so the buff slaughter the price is gonna go down and you're gonna lose five percent creep and then leviathan and mantra frog cannot stack anymore loki scarce and apocalypse which is the jungle item for the mages and basically it's gonna kind of make darcy a little bit less viable darcy and zeal and then they're talking about a lot of uh, bug fixes coming out so uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting guys the update is gonna be coming out in about uh, 24 hours so I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming out if you guys uh, enjoy this type of content make sure to subscribe I'm gonna have more videos coming out tomorrow going over the room pages what you should be building and all that cool stuff so thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and I will catch you guys the next time peace out